Welcome back, man. This is the motherfucking Underground Railroad. Miss Linda here, one half of the Underground Railroad. My co-host, Trini on point. Say the whole name like a pimp name, Slick Back Man. Our motherfucking artist done showed up and slid in this hole on y'all last during the little music, right? And <laughs> here, Doc. <laughs> In the motherfucking building. Yeah, you know what it is, man. Y'all know the vibes, man. Fuck hey. around with your boy. You know what I'm saying? NPL, what's up? All day, every day, man. You know, we don't fuck with none of y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas know. <laughs> y'all know what my term go. I slap niggas all day. Hey, That's, I start I, like if, that. If I don't say that in any of my behind the scenes interviews that I'm going to slap a nigga, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? But that's how we do it. Hey, we slide out. Fly niggas all 2 k 19 You know what I'm saying? You know the vibes. Happy Give me your baby boy, and this little fucker. Yeah, I know y'all remember. Yeah, this nigga. Oh, I forgot y'all was jolly this shit last time. Oh, we had jolly this shit last time. Stop. It's been like a year or two now. It's been longer than a year. I'll say it was probably it's been at least three. Oh, look. So you been saying three? Really? That's been at least three. I was down in Arizona for a year, so it's been at least probably about two, three years. Welcome back. Encore. Do you want more? Shit. Hey. Stop it. What, my bars? She back because I've been having bars. I'm talking about all night, son. I've been dropping bars. Oh, yeah. Like, man, you don't know this shot. I'm going to tell you. Bars type shit. Um, but welcome back, man. What, what's been going on, man? Shit. Well, A lot of stuff been going on, man. Ups, downs, start new businesses. I got a new business partner, man. It's, a lot of shit's going down. Like, I'm starting to turn this NPR shit. Like, last time you seen this, we just on some, like, little niggas trying to do something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Right now, it's like, big it's, now, it's, right? it's big niggas. Big niggas. Big niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got the LLC. Like, we got the merchandise popping. Oh, yeah. Right now, we're working on trying to actually get this building so we can have, like, a, a storefront. And then it's going to be half a storefront, then the other half a recording studio. Okay. It's going to be over by TSU. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Can so we're try? working on that. You know, we've right. been... You know, doing all kinds of collaborations with people all over the U U.S. So you know what I'm saying? It's crazy oh, yeah. from New York to California. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Had a show in Toronto over uh, last November. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, shit. it's just been moving like on jet yeah, speed. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like last time I was here, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, we just want some little 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 man with some aspirations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you had the BT awards yeah. and stuff that right. y'all was doing. Y'all had some good music. We had a lot of good feedback when y'all came. So y'all was doing shit. Don't be down. Okay, you know, but it elevated. Yeah. Yeah. It elevated, you know what I'm saying? Now. I feel you. We was actually on the way here. We was listening to, like, our old stuff compared to our new stuff, and it just tripped us out how, like, the growth we had. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, it makes you feel like, like, you ain't just wasting your time. You know what right. I'm saying? And, like, the moves we've been making lately, yo, it's crazy because, you know, my thing is that people tell us all the time how much they like our music and how they support us and all that stuff. But mm -hmm. one thing that Nipsey said that he was like, man, okay, you got these people that say they support you, but you know, what I'm saying who's spending the money? You right. Know? That's that's who that's who I that's who I recognize as supporting me. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like who's paying for the merch? Who's paying for the tickets to the shows? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who's doing that? Because at that point, then that's how you know. That's who's how you know who, who's real. You know what I'm saying? So I can't. So you know that I, that's what I've been on lately. I just been trying to tap in to make those people that say they fuck with us mm -hmm. to actually convert them over to some customers. Cause I'm on some business stuff right now. I'm saying I've been inspired lately. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Inspired yeah. by what or by whom? Like, um, what's the best way to ask the question? Like, what has changed from like the last time we see? Did the grind change? Did the vision change? Like, well, what what I'm, I'm gonna say like this? What changed? Or not necessarily change, but what elevated. Like back then, we had the super, super deep passion for the music. Like we was just right. just making music all day, every day. I don't give a fuck if nobody heard it. Just making music, just to make music, right? right. But now I feel like my business side, the business acumen on my side, is really mm -hmm. elevated. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like literally, I've been promoting one album this entire year. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, and I recorded the album in last year. Like I haven't recorded no new music this whole year. Mm -hmm. But I've been dropping a new video. We just dropped a whole new EP a couple months ago. We finna drop another group album. All this music was recorded previous year. So I'm really focusing on marketing the music that we already got. You know what I'm right, saying? Because right. one thing I be telling them all the time is like, you know, why drop 350 million songs when people ain't even heard the first shit you put out? True. You know what I mean? That's true. So, like, I'm, like that's what, that's what, we're, and by me focusing on trying to do the marketing for that, it helped me open up my mind to other shit as far as merchandising. You know what I'm saying? Publishing, um, you know, financing, and all of this stuff. I got into investing in businesses, like, 
you know what I'm saying? I'm finna, uh, like I say, this company, NPR Entertainment, I'm finna have NPR Entertainment start investing in stocks so that way my company builds some equity. Yeah. You okay. know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm on right now. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on some business stuff. But I still got the passion for the music. It's just I, I understand the music business. And you know what I'm saying? It's like make a product, make it as best as you can, then start pushing that shit until you can't push it no more. You know what I'm saying? So right, right. that's what I'm on. You know, that's, what, that's basically what I've been on in these past two years as far as getting on my business stuff just to make sure, you know, I, I got that together, you know what I'm saying? Right, that's I, very important. Right, because like, like, very important. Like, man, because I, 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 I ain't, I know you guys asked about the things we've been doing lately, but uh, a couple months ago, uh, my man Taj, he had hit me up with this opportunity to be on a TV show, right? So I'm going through all the steps and everything, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm at the last part right now where they submitted me to VH1. Um, so the way the show is supposed to be, I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking about this. <laughs> but, but the way the show might give us a little insight. Right. But the way the show is supposed to be, it's supposed to be like a hip hop competition. So you know, I don't know if you've seen that that TV show by Jermaine Dupri, like the rap game or something like that. Mm -hmm. Similar to that, except for with not kids. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. Um, I haven't got any confirmation back or anybody has gotten any confirmation back about who's going to be on the show. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, just understanding that, that, you know, it's like being in the music industry is not about just making dope music. Mm -hmm. It's having an overall package, whether it's just the image, the business. Like, don't be letting none of these stupid rappers fool you. They, they got their business together, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Right. Definitely. And, and, and they, got, they got somebody with them that know the business. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? In order to reach to that next level, they they intertwine like that. So you know what I'm saying. So you know that's what I've really been focusing on, just tapping into these other opportunities to bring more attention to the music, and then in turn bring more attention to the brand. So that way, other artists on the label like Baby Boy and T. Bronze and J.K. and Michi and everybody do their thing and prosper. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, it's been it's been it's been turned up these past couple of years. See the thing that really tripped me out, not necessarily tripped me out, because before, like the last time I was here, you know what I'm saying, the mindset I was on was just straight music. So, you know, I was in, I was tapping into every emotion when it comes to music, whether it was good or bad, and you know, just whether it was beefing with other people, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> on the raps and everything. But the crazy thing is, is I ain't even been on none of that for the past year and a half. I ain't been beefing with nobody or nothing. I just really been focusing on my business, you know right. what I'm saying? And it's probably making Taj happy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I used to, man, every other word out of my mouth used to be, fuck this person, fuck that person, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just really been on my business lately, you know, and just trying to make sure I, it's cliche, but I make sure I double up, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Trying to get you. this paper, you know what I mean? Great. That yeah. was something different, because, you know, last time you brought us love, hate thing, right. you know, it was kind of like, I did. You know, I used to really like that song. You did, you did. That was her jam, like, 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 I like it, like, I like it, like, that was like her shit shit, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, hey. that love, hate yeah. thing. Yeah. So, yeah, that was, that was like something totally different for us to see a whole nother side of you. Because I'm telling you, I've been on my bag lately, you know what I'm saying? I just been trying to get my bag like you know when you first get that first check off rap mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's like okay i can do this shit for real now i'll be understanding what motherfuckers be talking about like i said i like one, i said one line in the song about you know i, I people all these rappers used to talk about money this and money that and you know what i'm saying now i realize that money is the root is that's everything you feel everything. me it's like you know what i'm saying you can't be conscious without getting your paper right when you you know what i'm saying when you being conscious and you're talking about life shit mm -hmm. it's probably something to do with money when I made love, hate thing, I was talking about all these girls coming a couple years later after thinking back on that, it's because the paper wasn't right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, now I got a little baby bag. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it really all rolls around the check. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I still be on my conscience. I still be on my talking about what I got to talk about stuff. But, you know, like I said, that song right there was basically me saying, like, you know what? Let me stop fucking around. I got my first rap check. Like right. a check off rap. You know what I'm saying? And then, it, you know, it's like, okay. Let me, let me let my nuts drag a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I was hey, on. And big shout out to Jazz. Uh, you definitely did your thing on that. Mm -hmm. How you held it down for the ladies. And I like her voice she for the record. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the females with the different voices. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's sure it's nice. But it'll make her very distinctive. Like, if I hear her, I'll be like, oh shit, that's Jazz. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely. I think she just did some new TV show because her mom, I guess they left the TV show or Love and Hip Hop or whatever it was. And, um, they started their own TV show on VH1, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. you know, shouts out to them. Um, niggas need to put me on. For real, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, man. And then we were talking, too, about Champs and Mikey and stuff. So oh. how did 
Yeah, man, let's put the people on that. Okay, so yeah, so like I say, I've been I've been on my business shit lately, you know what I'm saying? And I just been trying to figure out ways on how to increase the brand recognition. So, you know what I'm saying? Do partnerships with brands that people recognize, like Nike, you know what I'm saying, uh champ uh champion, champs, whatever the fuck it's called, champion <laughs> champion. Um and I also I also did like a partnership. I did a partnership with a Browns wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? Where he was uh, basically a brand ambassador for my company. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so okay. he was, you know, I was, shit, I was waiting. I, I'm still waiting for OG, o, OBJ. Yeah. Still waiting for OBJ to wear one of my shirts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, if, that, if that happened, I'm telling you, that's next level shit right there. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, uh, me, me and my boy, we just had a project, uh, Hard Noodles and Sugarless Kool Aid 2, that dropped yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. That's real life shit right there. That's like, oh, I'm straight. Like, You know, we just dropped a shirt, you know what I'm saying? That mug is uh, by Nike as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we just trying to we trying to take it to another level. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to do the drugstore shirts with the with the print on them. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? We not on the Huggy Bear Hustle. You know what I'm saying? We not on the Huggy Bear Hustle. You know what I'm saying? It's plenty of niggas that do that and they want you to pay $20 for that shirt. Nigga, you didn't even pay $20 for that shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck out of here. So we sweet. I'm just trying to add quality to the brand. You know what I'm saying? The mixing and everything and the music got better. You know what I'm saying? The relationships that I've established is way better than the relationships that I had in the beginning. So, you know, so I feel like we elevating, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, it has taken a toll on my relationship life over these past couple of years since <laughs> last time you seen me. Because I think the last time y'all seen me, I was with... Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I think it's the You know what I'm saying? She's out of here. If I had a couple of years, she's going to be looking at that TV like, damn. Too late. Too <laughs> late. Man, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to go ahead and let my nest drag. <laughs> so she, hit, she, she slid into the kid Twitter DM real quick. You know what I'm saying? I was like, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I remember you, you know what I mean? She was, she was basically like, you know, I'm so proud of you, and I always knew you can do it, but then it was the music shit, the reason why we broke up. Right, so because wasn't she here like she was cool with it? She was though? cool. Man, I'm telling you, they be so disciple. Y'all you know what I mean? They, they, they smile in your face. And all all along, they want to take your place. place. <laughs> Come on, y'all. She was there hating it. Then, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all the story. Because, see, this leads into the, the album that I recorded where all this music came from. You know what I'm saying? Right. Music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said, right? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm over here hustling, grinding, trying to figure out how to make this GDR yeah. brand better, right? Yeah. And she, all along, she out here plotting and scheming with some other dude on the side. So, you know what I'm saying? We break up on some stuff. Like, I don't know. Okay, this is it. Three days later, she with some other dude. So I'm like, you know what? Ah, you been with that nigga. Come anyway. on, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I say, just this music shit. You know, people say they understand it in the beginning, but then you know, all along they don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? So you know, it's just crazy. And now you know, I, I got I got a new person in my life. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we have our ups and downs for the music because I be so tired from you know everything else and then I just don't be having much time to just be spending with them, you know what I'm saying? But she says she understands, you feel me? And I, we working we it out. See. You know what I'm saying? We working it out. So you know what I'm saying? Don't wait till you work a billion. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too crazy on that one. But, you know what I'm yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like the like I said, this whole little album, you know what I'm saying? Like the next song we're gonna get into is called Lose It All. You know what I'm saying? And on that joint, that basically me talking about losing old girl, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I lost you because of what I'm doing for my future and ultimately our future, if it was really supposed to be that serious, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man, you know. Sometimes well, they just can't they, twim, huh? What is it that they can't handle? Like, is it the you not being there as much or like... So I'm gonna say like this. So like <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I would say like this. You know, like it's like this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> I, I would, you know, because I'm, I'm, I would be going hard all day, yeah. and I probably give just them in general. And just, and just like you know, I don't really have a lot of free time. You know what I'm saying? So you know, if if I give them like at least 20 minutes out of my day, I don't like text messaging. I don't like texting. So you like talking on the phone? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> FaceTime? Oh, okay, okay. FaceTime and talking on the phone, I despise. Uh, so how you communicating then if you ain't texting or I'm one FaceTime? Of them, I'm one of them face-to-face. -face so pull the phone, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you ain't got to wait for them. So what is this 20 minutes for, like, 
like dick and pussy and bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, You're not down. <laughs> I, I, I was on your side. Uh, I know, like, Check it out. So look, it's like this. It's like this. You know what I'm saying? Like I be grinding so much. You know what I'm saying? Like today I've been back to back. Like early in the day I was setting up some accounts for my business. You know what I'm saying? And after that, I was whooping my dog's ass and shit all over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying? And, and then you're saying, now nah, I'm here, but I gotta take a nap. I'll be tired of shit. <laughs> <laughs> gotta put a nap in your daily regimen, you feel me? So I had to get my nap. So now, when I leave here, it's gonna be what? 10? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's time to go to bed. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, you hit me with the quick. See, my thing, I'm. I'm let me be real. I'm not like a, on the phone, on the FaceTime, because that shit get really boring. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm one of those people where let's kick it together. Let's create memories and everything together. Right. Like, let's build together. Like, like my, my girlfriend right now, she's a makeup artist. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I have art, I have female artists that I work with. Right. So, you know, it's, it's opportunities for us to build there. Like, okay, she can do her makeup for one of my artists. Boom, we build right. it. You know what I mean? Or she can do her makeup and do a photo shoot for my brand. Right. You know what I mean? Those are opportunities for us to build. You right. feel me? That's the type of bonding I like. Like texting all day. I ain't in high school. How often is she doing makeup though for yeah. your, you know, like how often do y'all have to, where y'all careers are linking Touché. to build? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> not, not, well, you gotta be able to dig a down sometimes. You gotta be able to have a quickie somewhere in right. there. You gotta have some type of time I for feel like, the I feel like you, you wanna know, you know, know something? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I be, I be, I be, I be doing my thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? I be doing my thing. You know what I mean? But sometimes, and I feel like that's, some, that's one of my issues that I'm working on is where I gotta, you know try to have in time or moments when I enjoy life. Because mm -hmm. all I do is work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But Coming from where I'm coming from, where I come from, I don't want to go back, so I'm going to do everything in my power not to right, go back. So right. any downtime that I have, I feel like I'm wasting time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it's time I'm spending with her, then obviously that's not wasting time. Right. But you know, like a lot of things, she's like, oh, or like people be like, oh, you do is work. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I'm gonna you tell you. I have one day a week. I got a, I got a PlayStation Four last Black Friday. No, two Black, three Black Fridays ago, and I played it about six times. So it's for sale. So it's like, you know, I don't really like to just do stuff just to do it. I feel like everything has to be a pro progression to what I'm trying to do. You feel right. me? And but I mean, relaxation, time to yourself, that, that definitely, you need time to say, okay, I done did, been at it all week, time to unwind. Right. Jesus said it best, man. Right. You've been at it all motherfucking week. You deserve at least 10 hours to yourself right. a, a week. Lot. A, a week <laughs> to yourself to get your mind back fresh, boom, 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 relax, and then get back out there. I'm yeah. sure even Beyonce take ten hours to herself. Well, shit, Beyonce got a money. Week. <laughs> you know what I'm Beyonce like, got that like, money, money. You know, you know what I'm saying? Ten hours. Shit, just, yeah, nigga, I'm rubbing quarters. <laughs> Like I said, I've been on this real paper chase lately, paper you know what I'm saying? Chase. So expect a lot more merchandise coming, you know what I'm Type saying? Shit. A lot more merchandise. The website, we talked about that off air too, you working on the website. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got the e-commerce set up, people can go make their purchase online, you know what I mean? We actually working on a brick and mortar store right now too, so that way people can come up and you know, we look. Building yeah. this. Come on, nah, <laughs> you know, we're working on that right now, but I'm just trying to make sure I get the brand locked tight. I'm trying to be the Walmart of music, you feel me? Oh, man. Yes, you know what I'm saying? I'm Check trying to have it all. Walmart have it all. of music. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Fuck Walmart. <laughs> 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 
Set up, man. Still, uh, what is it? Uh, edited I'm gonna tell you like version. this. <laughs> the clean version. <laughs> yeah, the clean version. Yeah, the most popular shit at Walmart is Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but, but, Cause Cause it used to be big. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. No, she, she got some joints. I ain't gonna even front. She got some joints. I'm gonna tell you like this, man. My girlfriend, she put me onto a whole nother type of script. She had me listen to some Korean music the other day, yo. My baby actually loves it because she watches anime. What they call it? I think that is, but yeah. it, it she was fire though. Like she think I ain't like it, but I like that shit was fire. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She just be thinking I don't like everything because I like listening to rap. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but it, was, it was pretty dope though. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I be telling her all the time that I'm open minded. So you know, but that's but what I'm on. You know, as far as this music shit, you know what I'm saying? Like dropping, like I've got a video dropping on the six with me and my man. See you know what I'm saying? To our song Vanity, we just dropped a couple. You know what I'm saying? Woompty woomps ago. Uh, shit, got my video coming out next month. I'm gonna be in Atlanta for AC3 or A3C. You know what I'm saying? Um, showing them how to do things out there. <laughs> 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 you know to break them boys off. Oh, no, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Um, you no, know, and then uh, me and my group, we're we working on this group project. We're gonna drop in, de in like December called NPR 2000. You know what I'm saying? Christmas gifts to the world. Come on now, it's gonna be some real diss tracks on there. Just, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Get back to my roots. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there ain't gonna be no diss tracks. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cool though. You know what I'm saying? Group project, last group trap, uh, group project we dropped was like last, this, like last, last October. So you know what I'm saying? We getting back on it now that I got a, a good foundation from our art, artists to eat and strive and really do their thing and provide for their families. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, that's definitely what we gonna work on. That's what we dropping. You know what I'm saying? Just mad shit coming on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it was, like I said, but everything. It's gonna come with some merchandise. That's the main focus with these projects is the merchandise. You know what I'm saying? Monetizing the brand. That's what I'm working on. Yes, indeed. You done whole skipped another performance is actually here. Oh, skip. Oh, skip. shit. My bad. Performances. <laughs> so yeah. So you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Some of our artists. You know what I'm saying? We got performances all like all throughout September. Like my man's uh, J.K. got some on 26 at B.F.E. Rock. Club or something okay, like that. Yes, uh, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? He got some popping off right there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me and uh, I got. I'm, I'm gonna be at this uh, one festival called the Faba. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Evolve C. Uh, they probably gonna <laughs> kick my ass for saying that wrong, but I mean, shout out to them. They put me on to that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That, uh, that's real love right there. And like I say, after that, I'm being uh, Atlanta for A3C. And I'm trying to book something else. I'm trying to book a show in Vancouver in November. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Get back out there, show love to my Canadians. What up, Drake? <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? So, you know, that's that's what we're working on as far as shows. You know what I'm saying? We are, and one thing, I, I wrote a script for a movie. It's called <laughs> Studio X. Just, I can't act. I, that, that, that I, got the, I got the script and everything. It's just, you know what I'm saying? I got a homeboy out in L.A. You know what I'm saying? His name is Oliver. He can act his ass off. I got some music with him. That's my motherfucking man right there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be in that movie too. You know what I'm saying? We got a little project we worked on. We gonna bang out. So I'm just grinding out here what every is second. What the script about? I'm just happy about it. <laughs> 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 Let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So basically, it's like, it's, like, it. it's like we're like, we're like we robbers, right? You know what I'm saying? Like we we go and we break people's shit and take their shit, right? Right. But the, it's, 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 a, it's a short film. You know what I'm saying? It's a short film. So the way the, the film takes place in a certain period where you know we we scoping out this one place and I'm the I'm the I'm the level headed but I'm gonna go get it type of dude. So it's like and then we and my man my man T Bronze he gonna play the role of the hothead. You know what I'm saying? Uh, J K gonna play the computer whiz. And then, you know what I'm saying, baby, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, uh, baby boy gonna play the uh, role of the laid back nigga that's just with whatever, you know what I'm saying, so, you know what I'm saying, that change. <laughs> so the way, the way the script go is, is, um, you know, the way this movie start off, we, we robbing somebody, right, and then, uh, well, we, we break, we breaking in somebody's crib, and then we head back to the, head back to our, like, our respective areas, and I'm laying up with my shorty, and I'm like, you know what I'm saying, she's like, oh, what's the score, she, she's telling me that, um, yo, this is one girl that work at my job, she got a real rich dad, he own casinos and everything. Thing. So you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, what you all up in my business for? You know, and then woop but then she she peep me gaming. It's saying like something that's pretty lucrative. So I bring it back to my team. You know what I'm saying? This, like I say, it's a short film, so it cuts to the scene where I'm with my team and everything, and we're going through the planning. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we all sit there. JK, he, you know, he got all the specs. He hack into their their weekend schedule because they're supposed to be going to um, <laughs> Vegas for. Yeah, they they supposed to be going to Vegas for um, uh, some weekend because her, her husband takes them to their clubs out in the Vegas every weekend just. To, you know what I'm saying? Or not clubs, but the casinos. But um, 
So we plan that out, we plan that out, we won't but then when we go there to actually do the job, every the whole family leave except for the girl. So we like, what the hell's going on? Come to find out the girl had to stay back because she had an assignment she had to do. And then my girl didn't tell me that, you know what I'm saying, that they had a big assignment, she just knows that they go out all the time. So, you know what I'm saying, she was on, you know, so she stayed back. And me, I'm like, nah, we gotta come back and do this another time. And T Bronze being a hothead, he's like, nah, fuck this, I need money now. So, you know what I'm saying? so he he rushed out the car and I go back and stop him. I'm like, yo, look, we ain't gonna hurt nobody, we just gonna go and get this money, we gonna hurt nobody, right? So boom, we do our thing, kicking the door, everybody get on the floor, shut up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we all running through the crib, right? Woonty woonty woon. And T Bronze, you know, I'm like, like, look, hold her there, tell her shut up, we're gonna get this and get out. So boom, everybody's storming out, we already got what we need to get. And I'm like, I'm over here calling for T-Bronze, like, yo, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And he like, man, fuck this. So he got an itchy trigger finger and kill her. Damn. So then boom. So we in the car, I get right, woo 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 Then Glenn on, in the back seat on his phone, like, yo, stop the car. When we stop the car, he's like, yo. You, you know that old mafia dude from back in the day? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're, like, we're like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come to find out, that's old girl daughter. So you know how the mafia like owned all the clubs and uh, casinos right. in Vegas? Boom, 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 you feel me? So we killed a mob boss's daughter trying to rob their place. Next thing you know, um, I'm chilling with the, with the guys, with the guises, and I get a phone call from the, I get a, I get a phone call from dude talking about we got your bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see a live? Womp you womp you You know what I mean? So then fast forward, boom boom boom. We at the spot. You know what I'm saying? We walk in there on some some last dance type shit, right? You know what I mean? And he got all his goons, chicks at the pool table, all black guns, machetes. Bows and arrows, all kinds of shit, right? No, <laughs> so I'm walking up. You know what I'm saying? I walk up, oh girl, my girl, she's sitting in the thing tied up, bloody, just toe up, right? We ain't got none of our guns on us because they took them at the door. Boom. So we walk in, like, Good trick to like, what you, like, what you doing with my, you know what I'm saying? We had a little thing, he gave us a little speech, and then he shoot girl in the head. So then at that point, they didn't check our ankles for our ankle straps. So we pull the so ankles out and we just start, this is a big old action shootout scene, right? Everybody just doing their thing. So then the, the mob boss is running out the back and I follow him out the back, you know, saying ducking and dodging through bullets and everything. Boom, we, we get to the back uh, alleyway and we and it's a fight scene, me and him. Get it, get it, boom. You know what I mean? So then boom, we do the fight scene and then I get to the drop on him and I point the gun at him. And then it's flashbacks of when Ty Drell killed his daughter, and he he, he says something like, you know, you gonna kill me like you did my daughter, and then I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do it. So then I turn around and walk off, and then I hear, and there's gonna be a gunshot, and then that's Ty, and that's T. Bronze killing uh, the mob boss, saving my life. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Come on now, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. So you know, yeah, was he high this night? <laughs> 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 so so that's 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 the movie oh, Studio X. You know what I'm saying? I wrote the script early this year. It's just that's a lot of shit to do. <laughs> so, yeah. so you know what I'm saying. Getting everything together is going to probably be a whole project in itself. But I'm, I'm definitely going to be uh, getting into that beginning of next year. We're going to probably shoot that mug in LA. But no, I see the thing is like the spots that I was looking for in H Town. It, it's just I need to find a place like the locations mm -hmm. that I can get it because I don't know no warehouses in Houston that I can shoot in, like it's stuff in LA like they have places meant for that okay, you know what I'm saying right, like that yeah. you can actually rent out to film there like here you gotta it's you gotta just, know somebody they got a warehouse right you know what I mean <laughs> or you know it's like and when I'm in LA I can rent out every location that I need and I can order props like I mean I can order props out here but as far as getting the locations it's gonna be hard right. so but yeah that's that's it's what like I'm a lot on. Of money too. Oh yeah. So, movies, mm -hmm. clothing line, mm -hmm. motherfucking music, always, motherfucking shows, always, goddamn squad together. That don't never Got stop. Got motherfucking baby bag and shit. Baby bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 baby bag. I'm trying to tell you, I'm just, I, I feel like you know, um, when I did the casting interview for the TV show, they asked me what was the one thing that I felt like stopped me from getting to that next level to where I feel like I'll be successful in my terms. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's honestly the A-list or B-list celebrity cosign. Because I, I literally got all the mechanisms to run a, a business right. in the industry. I just don't have that notoriety next to it. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, man, give me shit. Let Bum be a, a somebody with some type of clout 
Just do it. Be like, oh, I like them dudes. I'm gonna push them dudes just by my name. Mm-hmm. I got the whole shit. Like I'm telling you, like they listen to the music, they bang the music, they go see the videos. They got the videos that boom. They want to so support some merch. They go to the merch boom, get their stuff. Woody woody. Come straight to their house. You know what I'm saying? If they want to join the mailing list, I got street teams that hit everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, yo. Um, it's crazy. So I'm just, I just, I just feel like I need that, that, uh, that, that cosign from somebody, from somebody with, with the, with the clout. And if I get on this VH1 TV show, oh, if I play yeah, my yeah. cards I right, about that, come on yeah. now, if I, if I play my cards right with that, I feel like that'll be the clout I need. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because that's gonna give you a platform, and you're either turning to the guy that everybody love or everybody hate. I'll but be, either I'll, way, I'll you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like either way, it's, I it's don't the way. Yeah. Man, I ain't catching being the guy everybody hate. I, I be, I feel like honestly, the way music is, man. If people hating on you, that's good. That's great. That'll be the one to get you your own show after the show. You know what I'm saying? Like. And I'm like, oh, everybody hate this nigga so much. Let's give him his own show. <laughs> <laughs> and people gonna watch it just because they dislike you, just yeah, to yeah, see yeah. what you do. You know what I'm Be saying? Be on TV show fighting. Right. Right. Like, like, like the flavor flavor thing. Like right. you didn't really want to watch it for the love. You just can't believe you, that bitches was on it. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Right. watching that shit out of distance. Like, oh my right. god, they kissing this nigga. Oh my god, and it's a group. It's a lot of them. Right, bro. That show was. Perfect example. Yeah. See, that's, that's a great example. Right. Yeah, so that's you, you're like a bad boys club, and everybody fight like bad boys club. Yeah. I need to start that bad boys club. Because <laughs> <laughs> the first person that fake hit me on that, <laughs> it's gonna really be on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking in the beginning, yeah. them hoes was really fine though, because the way that one girl whipped Judy ass, like her shit was swole, lip was busty. I'm yeah, talking about she beat the brakes off that I girl. I can't get caught lacking like that, especially yeah. on national TV. On national TV. <laughs> I got the kill you on TV. You got the dial right now, pretty right. much. So let me ask you this question because I seen it going around on Facebook. Let's go. So would you rather have your sex tape go viral or yo <laughs> get your ass whipped going viral? Which one would you choose? Hey, well, <laughs> I hope my girlfriend ain't hearing this right now. <laughs> but um. I take sex tape every day. <laughs> 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 I ain't to get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, my, my, my squad already know what my answer to that question is. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely going to be the sex tape going viral. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you know, you know, you know. So, that, you know, I, I had no problem with that going viral. I mean, shit. Everybody, every time that went viral with somebody, they, they got famous. Paris Hilton. True. Kim Even the ones that won the bad shit. Right. Come on now. <laughs> R. Kelly. So you know, hey, cause I, nah, I ain't gonna get into that. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I would, yeah. be honest, I would be so shamed. Like it would take me a while to know because everybody like just see me have you know everything that was private. Everybody just seen it. So I feel now like it's I feel different like, for a woman. Of course, yeah. of course, it is. Cause you know me, like. <laughs> Back in the day, you know, I, you know, I had a couple, of them. <clears throat> um, <laughs> you know, and it's just like certain stuff in the in it that's funny that you want to put out. Cause I feel like if any of my old sex tapes before my my current relationship, my current happy relationship, you know what I'm saying? Any of those yeah. sex tapes ever make, you know, there's certain things in those videos that are funny. I feel like it'll be like just hilarious to see. Yeah, you know when you get famous, they gonna leave. They gonna get leave. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm gonna sell. As long as I get my bag off of it, that type shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely different though, cause most of the women is like, I don't know if I would want my sex tape. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know the thing, you don't want your daddy or somebody see, see you deep yeah. throat. Right. You know <laughs> <laughs> Got the drawers and the sleeves. Hair like yeah, this. Like, like, shit. You know, like, now you at the family reunion, you know everybody yeah, doesn't see like, what you mm, doing. Yeah, yeah, don't be like that. <laughs> yeah. Don't drink after it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but definitely though. Um, but thank you so much for coming out. Thanks, well, you gotta sure. come back. You've been all quiet and come shit, on, all low go. key. You know what I'm saying? You definitely next. Matter of fact, oh, yeah. I'm gonna inbox you a date for next week. Let's Let's get play it. your song. Let's like, get it. You know what I'm saying? I already put a bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you know that's what I was over here doing. Yeah. I was like, boom, boom. I, I was doing my thing. I actually got a whole little H town list. So when okay. we leave, that shit gonna be playing for like three, four hours. Mm-hmm. But what is the fecal factor? <laughs> the fecal factor.
Exactly. Oh, that is the gruesome twosome. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the shit factory. I got right, right. Like right. It's just, taking the shit. Yeah, it's just kind of the name of the crew. Like fecal. The like fecal factory. Fecal factory. <laughs> fecal factory. What does it mean? Like fecal shit. is like fecal. shit. Shit. <laughs> shit factory. Yeah. <laughs> See, he got Damn. it. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while, but I found yeah. it. Yeah. Type <laughs> shit. So, um, definitely Instagrams, real quick. Social medias. All that good stuff in about two minutes. Look, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be trying to give out their Instagram because I'm going to say NPR and then everybody going to go around and start spelling Empire. So just go ahead and go to Google and Doc Man, or Google Doc Man Rapper. All of my shit will pop up. Doc Man Rapper. Google it. Google Doc Man Rapper. That's D O C M A N R A P P E R. One more time. That's D O C M A N R A P P E R. Google. Google bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, hey, Google that thing. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then you can Google NPA Entertainment. I got mad shit coming down for all my niggas that ain't here no more. There you more. go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all, all my niggas that's locked in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we <laughs> definitely fuck with y'all the wrong way. Y'all come back, keep us posted, keep us updated. Most you know what I'm saying? We trying to figure out how to get our shit with Champs and Mikey. You know what I'm saying? So put us on game type shit. Man. Knowledge, that's what it's about. Yep. Yeah. I Google myself, by the way. I, I need to change that. Like, all my old music came up terrible. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible. Jesus Christ, I gotta fix that, man. We up out of here. It's your girl, Miss Linda, my co host, Trinity on point. Say the whole name like a pimp name, sleep back. Y'all listen to these lovely oh, jams by these underground sleep. artists. Changing the world one underground artist at a time. One song at a time. We'll be back next Thursday, 8 to 10. Tell a friend to tune in. We're going to do it again. Bars, bitch.